Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another Valorant console video. Today we're going to be talking about crosshair placement, aim, sensitivity, blah, blah, blah. Basically, how do you win more gunfights in Valorant console? So let's get right into it. So first things first, we're going to be talking about sensitivity. Sensitivity is very important and it's basically tailor-made to yourself. Like, nobody can tell you this is the perfect sensitivity. Some people might play at 9, some may, people might play at 1. It really depends on your play style, depends on who you are as an individual. If any YouTuber or Twitch streamer say you must try these sensitivities, they are lying to you. However, if they say give it a shot, don't be afraid to experiment, I would say so. So like for myself, I would say give these settings a shot, however, experiment for your own liking, okay? Okay, this is a good baseline for some people. Hey, who knows? You might actually copy these settings. Uh, these are my base aim curves, focus aim curve. Okay. Smooth and extreme. Uh, so far, I like these two the most at the current moment. It's subject to change in the future. So let's get into aiming. So first things first, when it comes to Valorant, is you need to stop moving to shoot properly. Okay. So if I'm moving, my bullets are going to go all over the place. If I stay still, my bullets go straight. It's as simple as that. Okay. So what I do is when I enter the fire range, I have first thing that I do before I go into any match is I go into the fire range. Okay. So what I like to do is take out and pull out a deagle and do stationary and just hit my shots. Okay. Make sure my crosshair is lined up. I don't need to pull right away. Okay, next next thing I do is I move around and I single like I just pop heads. So I move around. Yep, that's good enough. Okay, next I get into the guns I actually want to use. So if I'm using the Vandal, I'm using the Phantom. It really depends on your playstyle. It depends. Both guns are good, especially for different reasons. Go and use them. Make sure you learn how to play both. Um, I would say start off with the Vandal. Now for the Valorant console, uh, there's a new feature called Focus. And for a good reason, it really in intent, uh, I guess, kind of like heightens your senses a bit. And like it changes your sensitivity to something you like. In a specific gunfight or a specific moment so what i like to do when it comes to valorant console is i have a lot of success going into my fights by before i get into a fight i aim, i have good crosshair placement i aim around a corner with it okay and the key thing is walk while in focus i have to turn this off i think this is a very horrible feature if you if you use this when I swing, I want to be kind of like running to a certain degree. And so I'm a little harder to hit. Okay. Like you can like, like if you walk peak, you're just gonna be like very slow and you're peaking very soft. Okay. Eight, and you'll be very easy target to hit. However, if I be loud, okay, I'm a bit, I'm a harder target to hit and I have an easier, I, I would say it's a lot easier to track. Okay. So go into, there's different types of peaks. Okay. So you got a jiggle peak basically. Okay. Okay. You're not peaking too much and you're just slightly just going around and you're quickly going back into cover. Then you got the normal peak. And everybody does that, and it's very easy to predict. Uh, then you got the pop and peak, where you're in the corner, and then ooh, and you just swing out, and then you fire. Okay, pop and peak is usually for counter people who crouch and spray. So that's basically the different types of like aiming factors or peaking factors when it comes to games. Now, the reason why I aim, and I guess I use my focus to aim because I want to be effective. I want to be fast and loose, but my crosshair maintains on the bot, okay? But 
I have my sensitivity so low, so if I want to go up and down and focus, it takes a lot for me to do. So if I need to hit a recon bolt quickly, I just let go of focus and then just let go. Okay? Let go. Okay? But if I'm in a gunfight, I'm waiting for a gunfight, I'm holding an angle, I'm holding an angle, and somebody peeks me, I just, I just poke them back. Okay? Next, we got crosshair placement. Now, I did speak about, I kind of hinted at crosshair placement a bit, but a really good tip is for maps, especially, a lot of maps are designed by boxes like these or cubes like these, okay? And these cubes are a very good indicator of where the head level is for enemies. These boxes, like top level, is the exact same as the head level for bots and enemies. No character has a different hitbox. Every character has the exact same hitbox. That's what we're told. And so I have no doubt to believe them, okay? I played this game for at least two years already. I don't think I've ever seen an inconsistent hitbox. The only maybe now exception is to ISO, but that's a different story because of the shield. The shield adds, gives ISO a bigger hitbox for a good reason. Okay? So that's uh, basically it. So if you're ever wondering where I need, like, how to get proper good crosshair placement, uh, think about boxes, I would say. So a box is right here. That's the head level of a box. Bam. Actually, that's a bad example. <laughs> the debris fucked me over. Yeah. Yeah, as simple as that. So if you ever go into Ascent, you go into Split, go into Bind, you'll see these boxes all over the place. Now the head level will adjust because of elevation, but the practice is still pretty the same. So if th that's it, again, that's just a good starting point for some people. Okay. Next, we're going to be talking about recoil. Okay, recoil is important, but not important at the same time. Okay. The recoil itself is very, very... There's a lot. Let's just say there's a lot of recoil for both Phantom and Vandal. But again, sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. It really depends on your situation. I would suggest do not rely on do not rely on the recoil for any of these guns once you're starting off using these guns or else you will develop bad habits, okay? So when I go into fights, I'm expecting to go couple shots here, couple shots here. I'm not looking to go like one then spray over and try to win my gunfights. Like a lot of the spray factors come into RNG to a certain degree. If you don't understand the recoil, and if you do understand the recoil, there is still some elements of RNG when it comes to the spray. I would suggest if you're looking to know when to spray or not, I would say if you're super close range, kind of like in this area, like you can maybe get away with it because you're be a hard target ish. But if I'm going to be an effective Valorant player, I'm not going to be spraying down back here. Okay. It takes too long and you're sitting duck, to be honest. Okay. So if I'm a, val a proper Valorant player, I'm going to be back here and then letting go maybe after for the Phantom, I would say around four or five bullets. After the Vandal, I would say three. Okay. I want to be effective of my movement and work around. Okay. Because if I just go down, my some of my bullets are they were up like one of my bullet went right here okay even though i was pressing down so let's get right into team deathmatch and i'll let me show you and walk you through actually how i approach gunfights even in a team deathmatch setting you don't change you don't change that mentality when you go from a game to team deathmatch okay so i'll see you in a team deathmatch game okay we are in a team deathmatch and let's get this started so like my main purpose in team deathmatch is not to get the most kills it's honestly to get proper gun hair placement and to get into many fights as I can. And make sure I go around these corners with good crosshair placement. Okay? Yeah, like I might, like, I would rather have you lose these guns, or like these fights in team deathmatch without pro good crosshair placement all day. Like, again, spray spraying just um, pretty much just cost me right there. Like, again. Brain is a bad habit, and we got to cut it out. Dominating. 
fighting. Damn. Just take it smooth. Just take it smooth. Don't you don't need to spray. This game's not gonna affect anything. Just work on one taps and crosshair placement. Yeah, sometimes you're gonna get into the moment where you just wanna try to really quickly get the kill. But it's all about understanding what's in your control and what's not. Yeah, see I can't do anything there. Sometimes you just lose. It happens. Yep, I got shot from heaven. It's just sometimes it's just not your game. Ah, oh, I fucked that up. Yeah, that guy's spraying and praying. Not a good not a good sign for his future. Like again, jet's not that that jet's not bad, but Proper crosshair placement. That is all I'm worried about. I got crossed up. That's my fault. My crosshair placement was bad there. Bad crosshair placement lost me that guy gunfight, unfortunately. Ten kills remaining. I win those all day. Like I I can just stay up here and just win all day because of my good crosshair placement. Just peek me. I'm not looking to spray. Yeah, I got again. I got spray happy there because I got I was on a nice feed. But I'm just one tapping these guys right now. I got a, I got a little spray happy right there and I got a little spray happy but I still won at the end right so that is it that is it for my Valorant aiming guide thank you so much for everybody who stayed to watch to the end I do apologize I just I recorded this after uh watching it back and editing it uh I touched my nose a lot of this video <laughs> so if you stay till the end uh that's the secret password or that's the secret code for this video okay so peace out everybody Enjoy the rest of your night. 